What's up everyone, my name is Stephen Harrell and I am the owner of Tiny House Listings and today I just wanted to introduce to you our newest model. It's called the Toad, it's a 12 foot camping tiny house. So the whole idea behind this model is mobility. The reason we designed this is for people who want to live in a tiny house but they see themselves traveling frequently, even if it's just a couple months at a time where they stay, moving from place to place. So the whole idea was to be able to go where you want very easily so you can pack this thing up, hitch it up and you're ready to go. So like I said before, the whole purpose of this tiny house is about mobility. So I thought maybe I'd kind of take you around, show you some features that help out with that, and then uh, give you a little bit of information as we go. So this tiny house is 12 feet by eight feet long. And if you look up here at the front, we kind of made the front as low as possible. And the reason that is we wanted as many vehicles as possible to be able to tow the tiny house. This tiny house is made for mostly a V8 truck or SUV. Now, if you look at a lot of tiny houses, the only way they can be towed is by a three quarter ton or one ton truck, a heavy duty truck, a lot of times diesel. That's not the case with this one. This one could be towed with essentially any V8 SUV or truck. So the tiny house is heated and cooled by a 12,000 BTU mini split. This mini split is rated up to 450 square feet. So given this is only 12 by eight, this will get the tiny house hot or cold really, really quickly. And it's very quiet and efficient. So if you're ever plugged into some sort of shore power, whether you happen to be at someone's house in their backyard or even solar, if you uh, just want to use it for a little bit, or if you're at a campground, tiny house community, you just plug right in and get this uh, thing cranked up. So we know a lot of people who are going to use this model are going to be very active, whether that's if you're on the beach with lots of sand on your feet, flip flops, or if you're in the mountain skiing, you need to get all that ice off your boots. We decided to do this because you can have a hot shower outside. You can also rinse things up if you want. And there's also a spigot on the front for just cold to do that as well. But this is mainly meant uh, to have hot and cold water so you can take an outdoor shower. All right, so hot water is supplied to this tiny house by this on-demand hot water heater, and it's propane driven. So that means as long as you have water, you have hot water. And the great thing about this one is it's only battery operated, which means it ignites via batteries. So if you're on the side of the road somewhere, it doesn't matter if you're not hooked up to power, you can still have hot water. So now we're inside the tiny house and I want to show you a couple features that we have going on in here and we're starting out with the kitchen. First thing you'll notice is that we have a beautiful butcher block countertops um, and it has a really, really cool that works anywhere off grid, a two burner cooktop that's propane driven. Uh, it runs off the same thing as a hot water heater. And we have a big, beautiful window in the front so you can look out while you're trying to cook when you are cooking. We also have a deep stainless steel sink, the beautiful overarching faucet here. Down below we have lots of storage in this 30 inch cabinet. And then also we have a 3.1 cubic feet refrigerator with a uh, freezer combo on top so you can freeze things as well. All right, so now we're at the desk slash eating area. And the great thing about the front of this, the great thing about this desk is it runs the entire front of the inside of the tiny house. So over seven and a half feet long. And you can actually, when you're sitting down, you can look out the window and kind of see what's going on. And uh, this whole entire tiny house is actually surrounded by windows. So there's lots of light that pours in. We have this stage for a bar height stool, which isn't really an ideal fit. You want more like a computer chair or a lower chair. They even have the kind that tuck underneath or slide underneath, to kind of get out of the way when you're not using it. Uh, we have a stage here. You can put your laptop here. You can plug in. You can do whatever it is you need to do. But yeah, this is a really great, actually large space for such a small space uh, in a 12 foot tiny house. And we have lots of storage over here. You could put your dishes, you could put your clothing, you could put your knickknacks, whatever you want, put some bins in there. Uh, so yeah, this is the sitting area. So now we're in the bathroom. As you can imagine, it's a very small bathroom. We're only in a 12 foot tiny house, but uh, it actually is very functional. We have a full size flush toilet. And if you don't need a flush toilet, or if you don't want a flush toilet in a tiny house that's on the go, we can absolutely put a uh, compost toilet in there. We even wire up, put a receptacle behind it because a lot of compost toilets, especially nature's head compost toilet, our favorite, uh, requires a fan that spins. And uh, so that helps kind of control the exhaust and everything. Speaking of exhaust, we also have a built-in fan. We have a 32 inch full size stand-up shower. So it's basically the same size shower that you would see in a regular tiny house that we build. So yeah, really functional bathroom, especially for such a small tiny house. Uh, you can do basically anything you want in here that you would typically do in a regular tiny house. So earlier we showed you some storage that is actually on the uh, desk area. We also built in uh, a large, really large above head storage that you can get a lot of things in here. Uh, and it runs almost the full span of the living area, which is this one was only about six feet instead of eight feet. Just through the front of the tiny house, you can see the mini split interior. So this thing really, really heats it up and cools it really quickly in here. But yeah, this thing is definitely not lacking for storage. The final area that I want to share with you in this tiny house is the sleeping area. Well, there's lots of configurations you could do. You could do a day bed that you actually sleep on that you don't need to convert. You could do a trundle bed where the top part is a sleeping bed and you pull a bed out underneath if you have guests. 
This one is actually just a very basic futon that we put in here just to give you an idea. You can sit on it during the day, then bring it out at night underneath the storage where you could put your blankets, things like that. But there's lots of configurations you can do. I've even seen the ones in an RV where it's a slat and basically you pull it out, take the cushion from the back and pull it over here where it pulls out. And then you have a full size sleeping bed so you could easily sleep too. Yeah, there's plenty of room to put basically whatever type of sleeping arrangement you want here in this space. So a couple more features I wanted to mention. You may be looking at the wall thinking, wow, is this uh, drywall? We would never, never do drywall in this particular model because it's gonna be moving around a lot and it run the chance of uh, cracking. So the walls are made out of cabinet grade plywood and so is the ceiling. Uh, we paint the walls white just to give it a nice clean look and then we keep the ceiling exposed uh, just to give it kind of a two-tone look. And then the flooring is made out of really high quality waterproof LVP flooring that will last you a very long time. So yeah, the walls are plywood. The ceiling is plywood and then the floor is made out of uh, high quality waterproof LVP flooring. The last thing I want to mention is that this tiny house is fully certified, no certified, just like all of our tiny houses. That means you can finance it if you want and for a really low monthly payment, uh, but also means if you ever go to sell it in the future, you'll probably get close to what you paid or it'll definitely help with the resale value. Uh, so again, the whole reason of this model that we decided to do, it, we kind of listened to the market. We noticed a lot of people are pretty nomadic and uh, we wanted to build a model that was based around that whole lifestyle. If you're on the go, a couple examples of that would be a, a traveling nurse, uh, a digital content creator, um, anyone who's on the go, still trying to make some money or even retired people. So anyways, I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. Click the link down in the description below and that'll take you to a listing. We can get in more information or you can email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.